Hey guys, today I'm going to be making the Soup Can Forge from Nighthawk and Light's tutorial. So the story behind this was a while ago I forged this knife from a drill bit and it worked out quite well. I didn't really like the handle but the actual blade material was really good. It just forged from an old high speed steel 10mm drill bit and the link will be in the description down below to how I made this knife with the HDP handle. That video has got quite popular and a lot of people have been suggesting that the forge that I used was overkill and it was that is actually the forge that I used for casting molten metals and a lot of people suggested I made a small propane forge and I googled it and found Nighthawk and Light's tutorial on how to make this soup can forge. Using that forge since I've then forged three smaller drill bit knives which I'll be showing you how to make next week. Originally I was planning on having the video of how to make these drill bit knives up this weekend but I didn't quite have enough time to get them out and it takes quite a lot of time to make a tutorial like this so instead I think I'm just going to be showing you a preview of how the forge works and how I made it pretty much similar to the Nighthawk and Lights tutorial and then I'm, next week I'm going to be showing you actually forging these knives. So enjoy the video, the link in the, will be in the description to Nighthawk and Light's tutorial to show how he made this forge and also the link will be in the description to how I made this first drill bit knife works really well and it's held an edge really well, it's still incredibly sharp and then once this video is uploaded next week on how to make these three drill bit knives then I will also have that in the link of the description. The beauty of this forge is it's constructed from so few materials that are readily available. The only thing that you're really going to need is a block of wood, some L brackets, plaster of Paris and sand and obviously the soup can. So first the L brackets are screwed down onto the piece of wood just using regular wood screws. Then the coffee can or soup can is marked, drilled and then bolted to the L brackets just using some small bolts. So now the soup can is held in place. So this forge is just powered by a regular propane gas burning blowtorch and I'm just going to be using a metal tube to connect the two into the forge but in Nighthawk in Light's tutorial he actually uses a threaded pipe nipple which is much better. Using a hole saw I drill a hole large enough for me to insert the head of the blowtorch. Once the hole's been drilled the blowtorch can just be inserted into the hole like this. Now it's time to make the refractory coating which is both going to protect the forge from melting and also keep the heat in and allow it to build up. And this is going to be made from a 50-50 mix of plaster of Paris and sand. They're mixed by weight and then water is added until it goes into a clay like consistency. The can is filled and the inside of a wooden dowel is inserted to make sure that the middle stays empty. When the plaster of Paris is almost dry you can do a little bit of final shaping and make sure that it's completely hollow in the inside and that the tube connects up with the inside diameter of the soup can. You can then clean off any excess plaster of Paris from the outside of the forge. This is what it should look like once it's dry, there should be just a hollow indent going inside the plaster of Paris with a thick 1 inch coating all around the outside and the back and then the tube is just inserted in the bottom here and you can see there's a gap all the way through. So that's completely it, this is a really great forge and it's now time to test it out. The first burn will dry all of the plaster of Paris and make sure that it's completely dry and this was a really great idea by Nighthawk and Light and if you haven't already I'd recommend definitely that you go and check out his tutorial. As you can see it's already starting to get really hot inside. forge heats up really fast and it also heats up metal really fast and I found that it's literally the perfect size for forging small drill bit knives. I'm sure if I wanted to forge slightly larger knives with a more powerful blowtorch and a larger soup can I could easily make a much larger forge. On full power this forge easily achieves heat treat temperature for normal carbon steel and as you can see inside here the knife is glowing yellow and I can quench it in or heat treat. 
Next week, I'm going to be showing you the tutorial on how I made these three whittling knives, which are all really sharp. Two of them were made from drill bits, and the other part was made from the offcut of an old file. Once that's up, the link will be in the description down below to that tutorial, and again, if you haven't already seen Nighthawk in Light's tutorial on how to make the soup can forge, he explains it a lot better than me, and it is his creation, so it would only be fair if you go and check it out.